Okay, you're probably thinking, is the title clickbait? And I'm gonna tell you, no, it is not. But yes, I am giving you a free keyboard. Taking this off and I told you guys last week, no Sunday upload. So we're doing a little bit of a vlog today because we have new studio space now. We renovated what used to be basically an unusable room. Now we have editing desks here. That's for shooting thumbnails. But you're like, wait, where is the free keyboard? Okay, so here it is. We're gonna go to the other room though. Moving from this room out of the hallway, I wired new LED downlights in here, and then coming into here is gonna be the new studio set. So why don't we set it up there? Okay, so now, how do you get a free keyboard? Well, you're like, there must be some sort of catch. Every single week on this channel, Consumer Tech Review, I am going to be giving out at least one keyboard. If a lot of you like this and a lot of you enter, then maybe we'll bump it up to two or maybe even three keyboards every single week. That means every video that I put out will basically be a giveaway. I'm not gonna put giveaway in the title because that would just get annoying. So every single week, we are gonna be giving out a keyboard to one of you, which means the viewership on this channel is crazy to me, but overall in the grand scheme of things, it's not massive, which means every single week you have a very good chance of getting a free keyboard. The way that we're gonna be doing this is number one, you have to be subscribed with post notifications on. And the reason is, is because look at this. This is our analytics for how many people are subscribed that watch the videos. And you can see it is under 10%, which is, well, it's very bad. And one of the reasons may be because I never ask people to subscribe. And over the course of a few years now, uh, I think maybe that's hurt a little bit of things. So. To be entered in the giveaway, you have to be subscribed with that bell icon changed to a full bell with it ringing, which is post notifications on. So when I post a video, it will come out. Don't worry, it's only once a week, every Sunday, and occasionally maybe a vlog like we're doing today. But so now you're like, so all I have to be is subscribed with post notifications on to be entered. And well, no, because I can't really track how many people entered then because some people may not be watching and then it's hard for me to get it to them. So here is how you will have to enter every week and I will make it easy, don't worry. But let's go in the other room and show you stuff while I tell you. Okay, so firstly, this is the main studio. This is like the main background. I have the big Solix right there. I have my hair light right there. And then this is pretty much the same. It will be changing soon. And then basically what I see when shooting is this. So that's kind of what I see. I have some keyboards that we're working on over there, some modding stuff down here, more modding stuff up there, a little closet right over here. And I'll show a B-roll clip of what it looked like before, and then this is what it looks like now. So that's pretty crazy. And then moving over here, this is kind of where it's a little bit echoey, but this is where a lot of the B-roll and a lot of type C is gonna be shot. And again, in here, we've got a lot of can lights wired uh, that I did. But okay, this is how you can be entered every single week to be entered to get a keyboard, and that is we are going to have a screen on a few things that you'll have to do. They'll be very basic, like you'll have to be subscribed with post notifications on, you might have to post a comment on the video, or you might have to follow me on Instagram, or give me some idea for the next video, or tell me your favorite switches, something like that to be entered to win. However, every single week, this is going to be in a different spot in the video, and it'll only be like a two second clip of what you need to do to be entered. So basically, you have to watch the videos if you want to be entered which I think is a really good way of just weeding out people who just want a keyboard and people that are really into the community and want to get started. So the keyboard every single week will be the same keyboard, at least in the beginning, which is this one. And this is the fully built one, but if you guys watch my channel, this is the CIY GAS 67, or is it 68? I think it's 67. But this is a really fun keyboard to build. It's a custom DIY kit. Whether you're an enthusiast or a total beginner, it's easy and fun for both. This is one of my favorite keyboards to build just because, well, it's so easy, it's so fun, it does a lot of things right, and it's pretty much fun for anyone to build. That's why I picked this one. Also, it doesn't break the bank, so that's good, especially if we wanna ramp it up to two or three keyboards a week. So there it is, that's the big announcement. You guys can literally have a very good chance every week of getting a free keyboard on this channel. Just make sure you're subscribed with post notifications on, and obviously, the giveaway may be timed. That will change week to week. It may only be a two hour entry or a 24 hour entry, or it may be the full seven day entry until the next video comes out. However, I think this is gonna be really fun for all of us, me included. We'll be able to do some fun stuff with comments and stuff like that. However, this is a vlog, so let's do some vloggy stuff. The studios are not finished. We need a lot of stuff, especially sound deadening. Can you hear that? It's echoing in here right now. So. Let's go do some of that, kind of give you an insight on what it's like to live uh, 
as a tech YouTuber in Virginia. Let's do it. And getting into the car. One of the things I'm not sure if I ever showed you guys is, but I drive a 2008 Toyota Highlander. It was the first car I ever bought. And this is before the COVID used car prices just skyrocketed. But I installed one of these awesome Android aftermarket displays where you have all of these Android apps and stuff like that. And you basically just have a tablet built in, but it matches all of the dash and everything. And it keeps the OEM display up here for like climate control. So if I turn it up, it's still, does everything there. But then to make it even better and seem even more OEM, I took this little USB thing and it's called the Carlin kit. I'll actually link it below to Amazon if you want to check it out. But this plugs directly into the USB port that came with the Android system head unit right there. And what this does is when you plug an iPhone into it, so when we plug this in, it comes up with this screen right here. And then just like that, it has full Apple CarPlay. So you can see if I want to go to YouTube Music right there, I have all of my songs. All of my music is right here. I have full Google Maps right here, trying not to show you my location. But you can see we live right outside Charlottesville and that's all Charlottesville. It's all super fast because it's Apple CarPlay. You can do all the split screen stuff. I mean, it is so nice to have. And this car already had a pretty nice audio system and everything. The only thing that really lacked was having like a head unit or a screen and that totally solves it. So that's awesome. A little pro tip, you don't have to buy a new car to get Apple CarPlay. Just install a cheap head unit and get one of those Carlin kits and you're good to go. All right, let's head out. Costco. Guys, got the rugs. We got a few rugs, some for the hallway to mitigate the sound. Costco is one of the best places to get rugs. No plug, no sponsor, but very cheap rugs, high pile, great for noise reduction. If you guys are trying to work in a studio environment, this is an easy way to get rid of those echoes in an empty room. The runners. And then a bunch of curtains so we can, these are the sunblock, whatever that means, the blackout curtains. Noise reduction as well, very good for that. As well as studio lighting, make sure that we have the same lighting every single time. That's something we didn't have in the previous studio. That's what we'll have now, so that's good. Then, right here, we got, these are more like kitchen things. You can see they're made for like onions and stuff like that, but we're gonna use these for camera gear. We'll be able to put lenses, batteries, chargers, stuff like that in here, and still be able to roll them around the studio, which is great. And then this is basically the same thing as that, but bigger, uh, and we'll have to use like little storage trays in here. But again, roll it around the studio. Plenty of space for tons of camera gear, so that's great. Now we take everything inside, and then we set it up. Ooh, big boy. Okay, big rug incoming, and then we're gonna roll it out. Okay, here we go. There we go. Oop, hit the light. Here's the rug. Finally got it through. Now let's unwrap it. Mini knife for the win. And roll it out, there we go. This was supposed to be more like, I just like whoosh, roll it out, but it's, it's not like that. Wait, I should have flipped this over. Hold it over. I don't know what's going on here. Look, you know you're an adult when you start getting excited about rugs. Okay, this looks awesome. Okay, look at this. Looks so good. I actually really like the kind of marbly look. Let's see if I can get it from this angle. I'm gonna squeeze in the corner. All right, check this out. And from this angle. So sick. Is it just me or does this look small? This looks a little micro. It's fine though, it's fine. All right, now this thing. This is an editing desk right here, and then if you saw in the beginning of the video, there's another editing desk over there. So Haley and I edit side by side, and this is really hard to open. Uh, and this is a filing cabinet because the IRS and the handles. Yo, tell me why these handles literally look like they come out of like a kitchen. This is so nice. Target for the win. I got impatient. All right guys, now look at this setup. That's my editing desk, Haley's editing desk, and then the filing cabinet right next to it. Looking awesome. And we'll set this on it. There we go, finishing the look. Actually, that looks weird. Maybe here? No, that's weird. And it even locks. So you can lock this one. However, I'm not sure I'm gonna trust that lock. All right, now to build these, if I can build a keyboard, I can build this. All right, 
and this is all done. I think that took me like 20 minutes. This thing is built surprisingly well. If you guys are at Costco and you're looking for something like this, oh my God, like this thing is built really well for the price. It is surprisingly good. This is gonna be really great to put cameras, you know, stuff like this in there. I mean, that's so vibey as well with the black on black. Now the next. All right, guys, there it is. How sick does that look? It's even got a little hanging thing, which is kind of cool. Like you can hang stuff on this. Now, obviously this is, both of these things are made for kitchen use, but I really love this because it actually has these like trays. And then from Target, we actually got these little plastic trays. And so on these parts, if I wanna put camera gear, I just have these plastic trays so I can put little small things like batteries and stuff like that. And I can still move this around the room because it's on wheels. All right guys, but that was my little day in the life. Don't forget, make sure you're subscribed with those post notifications on and then get ready to win one of these and have a chance every single week. Again, there will be prompts for each giveaway somewhere in every new video every Sunday at 8 a.m. and you could win one of these DIY kits. It is so fun to build these, so yes. I am giving away free keyboards. But this is Consumer Tech Review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this like vlog, day in the life almost kind of thing. Hopefully it was enjoyable to watch. I've never done one of these before. I've seen like random Frank P do it and I thought, hey, maybe people would enjoy that. I don't know. So tell me below if you do want to see more of these vlogs kind of midweek. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Let's see. This is Consumer Tech Review and I'll see you guys in the next video. Get ready to win one of these.